Hi, I'm Caleb Haney, professional quarterback of the National Football League. Today I'm going to cover three-step drop. First thing we want to do in a three-step drop is you want to line up parallel, parallel to the line of scrimmage. Nice staggered stance, nice comfortable under center. 60% of your weight on your left leg. Okay. Now, first step you want to take after you take the snap is straight back. Okay, and you want about a yard of, of uh, distance from your first, where your initial step was, or your initial foot was. Okay, you don't want to be, a common mistake is guys get too stretched out and they're too far, and then they, they have to really recover it and you're not gonna be able to throw the ball as efficiently at the top of your drop. Okay, so nice, easy, controlled first step. Second thing you want to think about is your shoulders. Okay, a lot of times I'm throwing the ball over here to Mike, you know, I don't want to have my shoulders turned and closed, really we, we call this being closed off, okay? Then you really have to work on your second and third step to get back over to Mike, and then you're, you're just losing time as you go along. So after you take that first step straight back, about a yard of depth, okay? Keep your shoulders down the field, okay? And as you're, as you're taking your second step, which is called our crossover step, you're starting to turn your hips really think about putting that belly button towards your target and that'll naturally move your hips and shoulders open. Okay, so we got one yard, crossover turn, and your third step should be about as, as big as your second step. So it's really one big, quick two, three, and then you're getting the ball out, okay? So it's gonna be one, two, three, then you're getting the ball out, okay? So a big thing on the uh, after you, you hit your third step, see it, I'm facing Mike right here on it, and he's at a hitch route, which is a, a six yard route. He's gonna run up and turn around, okay? So I'm facing him. When you're stepping to your target, I don't wanna step here and throw towards Mike, because then I'm throwing over my body like this. Okay, I wanna step just to the left of Mike, have a nice quick release. Okay, you don't wanna sit there and stare at him and then throw it, because the corner will come and pick it off, okay? And another thing you want to think about, a common mistake is guys get too straight legged up here. See, my knees are straight. Then I have to bend to throw the ball, okay? You want to be nice and bent, nice and compact. So when you hit that last step, I have a nice Z in the knee, okay? And by that, I mean nice Z right here. Nice and controlled and compact, okay? So then at the back of your drop, you're nice and ready to throw. Nice balanced step. All your weight is on your instep the inside of your foot, okay? You don't want to be up on your toe. That's another common mistake. Guys get up on their toe, then they are off balance, okay? You really want to plant that last step in the ground hard. Boom, three, just a slight pause, and then from there you want to be really explosive and quick. So you're just nice, quick, and explosiveness to the, to the receiver. Okay, so again, covering a three-step drop to the left. Nice step, straight back, shoulders parallel. Crossover step starting to turn. Your third step should be a little bit out towards your target. That way you can make a nice quick throw, okay? Another common mistake guys have is they, they try to open their shoulders too early, okay? You don't wanna do that. You wanna get a nice back. Your shoulders should be level, okay? Don't wanna lean back like this because then you have to get back down and throw and you're throwing over yourself and the ball will drop and die on you. And this is a full speed example. So, hut. See, I was nice and quick, but I wasn't out of control. You wanna be quick without rushing, okay? You get nice and quick. I mean, you don't want that ball to be pumping here. You just wanna be nice and relaxed, okay? That's another mistake people make. The ball's moving up and down, okay? You just want it nice and relaxed at chest level. One, two, three. Nice and easy to throw the ball. You also don't want to have your feet chopping too much up and down. You want to keep your foot close to the ground. Okay, really slide that foot back, not pick it up and step. You want to keep that foot close to the ground. One, same foot close to the ground. Two, three. You don't want those knees pumping like pistons. You want it to be nice and smooth on the way back. So one more full speed example. Set hut. Okay, finish through your target. You should be good to go. Now we're going to talk about a three-step drop throwing out to your right. Now this will be just the same as throwing it to the left and we're throwing a hitch route which is eight yards deep 
Uh, it's just a quick receiver run straight down the field, turn around. Okay, three-step drop to the right is not much different than the left, but there's little intricacies and details to each drop that make them completely different in your mind. Okay, now when you're coming back on a three-step drop, you want to be nice and level, just the same as you were um, throwing to the left. Take the snap, set hut, same drop. You want to be one foot or one yard of distance in between your feet as the way back. You don't want to get too stretched out, just like we talked about on the three-step drop to the left. Nice controlled here, shoulders level, not up or down, okay? And really here, you, a tendency is to close off your shoulders really bad and then, and, uh, you know, you have to really wrap around your body to get the throw out there. So we really want to focus here on keeping our shoulders nice and level down the field. And you don't have to be turned to throw it out there. You can just step and nice to your target, just step to the left of your target and uh, you should be fine. And another thing, here on your first step drops, we don't want to be lifting that leg up. We don't want that piston fire. We want to be nice and smooth, close to the ground. And when you step, when you hit that back step, you want your weight on that end step. Really sink on that weight. Nice bend in the knee. You don't want to be straight up. You don't want to be swaying too far back. Another thing is when you make that plant foot at the back, one, two, three, see how my foot is perpendicular to my target. Okay, if my foot was back here, then I'd be like I'm throwing over here. We don't want it to be straight to the line of scrimmage because that would be like I'm throwing it straight ahead. So we want it to be nice and perpendicular to your target. Okay, so that way your weight's on that instep, you can really drive off of that foot and make the throw. So here's a couple of full speed examples. Nice relaxed stance, set hut. One, two, three. Try to put the ball on the receiver's face mask at all times. One more. Let's see, I had a nice pause at the top. Nice pause at the top, which allowed me to be quick and explosive. If I try to come back and try to throw too quickly, then the ball's gonna come out funny. It's not gonna time up right with the receivers. Another thing is, you don't want, when you get back here at the drop, at the back of your drop, you wanna really set and not sway. So if I have that foot open, here, and a lot of people tend to sway back, and then that shoulder gets turning again. So you really want to focus on, when you hit that third step, planting it and sitting there. Don't sway back. That's why you want to have that nice bend in your knee. Okay, so today we've covered three-step drop to the right, three-step drop to the left, the details, keeping your feet close to the ground. Not too big, not but not too narrow, okay? When you get to the back of your drop, really plant that foot and explode to your throw step just left to your target your foot needs to be perpendicular to your target and with those with those things you should be mastering the three-step drop before you know it i'm caleb haney and this has been your pro tip for the day